Today on the channel, we got one of my all-time favorite Cobra the Enemy characters. We got Big Boa, G.I. Joe Classified Series. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! back to the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified series unboxing and review and today on the channel we got the latest and greatest from Cobra we got Big Boa but for all your Big Boa needs and a whole lot more make sure you hit up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free got to get a deal out there and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. And Big Boa, an all-timer when I was a little kid. This was in the meat and potatoes of my G.I. Joe collecting in the 80s. Absolutely loved Big Boa. Loved the gloves on him. Just an absolute favorite of mine. And later on in my life, when I got the internet, I found out this character was supposed to be Rocky Balboa. However, that didn't work out for whatever reason. Probably cash or creative, as Jim Ross would say. Uh, so I'm sure that was part of it. But now we get Big Boa in the Classified series. We did see him in the 25th anniversary. And I think, uh, was that guy's name Kangor? It was kind of a repaint, an Australia version of Big Boa. We got him over there as well. So some interesting times in the old Big Boa days. But I'm very excited about this one. There's a lot of stuff I like. There's one thing I don't like, and we'll get into it here in a second. So without further ado, let's see what old Big Boa is up to. Looking good, looking like a big boa for sure. He's ready to train everybody. And I always kind of had him and Sergeant Slaughter as kind of yin and yang for Cobra and G.I. Joe. He was the trainer of the Cobras, Sergeant, of course, of the Joes. G.I. Joe classified, Cobra logo, big window box, back again with an action. Your little fighting scene over there. On the side, big boa looking good. 114, can you believe it? QR code on that side. And then on the back, little glamour shot there. And a bunch of jibber jabber on the bottom nobody cares about. But there he is in the octagon, ready to go. And I love that they gave him blood on his uh, hands. I think that's a really cool feature as well. That's it. You got the Cobra logo in the background, of course. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison. There it is. Looking very plasticky. I don't know what we're going to do here. You have to pop this out. Pop this out. Pop that out. Pop that out. Let me get it all out. There it is. Everything is out. See you later. Goodbye, Plastic Prison. All right. Very interesting figure here. Very interesting. We're going to dive into the accessories first. And I guess we'll start with the boxing gloves. I feel like I have to display him in the boxing gloves. It was cool as a kid when they were removable from the 3 and 3 Force, but I feel like he has to be displayed in these. Of course, the patented Cobra logo on the top of the gloves. Love the white underside. Instead of just making these all red like back in the day, a little extra detail, and they do plug in just like a peg hole. You also got the wrist bracers for the gloves that go over. Nice attention to detail with this one. Here for that, as you can imagine, very, very cool. Now we do get some weights right here. He's repping the big weights is what he's doing. He's lifting all the weights. Lifting all the weights. Two dumbbells here. Of course, he's training. He's training Cobras. He's got to have some weights to really work out with. Two nice dumbbells. And these are very cool accessory pieces because you could easily use these for other toy lines if you want to. You want to put them with your wrestling figures? Go for it. You want to put them with your Ninja Turtles? Hey, why not? He-Man needs a workout? Give him to He-Man. So very cool to get two dumbbells here. I'm here for that. Now we're getting down to business. And dare I say, possibly some monkey business. And that's where the part comes in that I don't really like. Now this helmet, I do like. I like the spikes across the top. I like the mechanical face. I like the kind of red visor around there. I, love almost, I always thought that was kind of a breathing apparatus on the side of his mouth. I love this head. This is what I think of with Big Boa. This head, I do not think of with Big Boa. And it's like, let's keep the mystery alive. It's like finding out that Nemesis Enforcer, I'm not calling him immortal, I'm calling him Enforcer. It's like finding out Nemesis Enforcer's an accountant on the side or something. It's like, I didn't need to know that. I didn't want to ruin the mystique of Nemesis Enforcer. And that's what we're doing here with Big Boa. You're ruining the mystique of Big Boa. He's just a normal guy underside. I want him to be a scarred up, like crazy guy that has to wear this just to live. It really 
really kind of ruins the mythology or whatever you want to call it of Big Boa for me. So that is a miss. I'm sure some people will like that. I guess it truly is choose your own adventure. But man, I prefer the Big Boa head all day long. Now this is technically a second head. This isn't a helmet that goes over the top. So really you take this head off, you use this, and you can put this in a baggie and forget it ever existed if you wanted to. It is up to you. But this head here, a guy that's seen some things. Cuts under the eyes, missing a couple of teeth, black hair going back. Dare I say a little bit of Sylvester Stallone feel. I think they put a little homage. Homage? Oh, okay, Todd. Todd from the couch. Homage? 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 Back and forth all day long. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato, Todd. You know, eh, McFarlane. He's a, he's a squirrely fellow over there with his toes, as we do know. Uh, but it's an interesting head sculpt. I mean... If it was on somebody else, maybe I'd be okay with it. It just really takes away the mystique of Big Boa for me. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts there. Uh, it's not a real big deal at the end of the day since we got the second head after all. Uh, we do get the spiked vest over the top looking extra wild. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that thing. Who wears something like that? Apparently Big Boa does, I guess. That's his thing. So he's wearing that. Very interesting on the pants, tights, whatever you want to call it. A little diaper. It's got a little plastic diapery feel to it. We don't get that usually with the classified line. So that is definitely something different. Uh, Big Boa's got two nipples going on, and he's hard as a rock. He could cut some glass with him if he needed to. We do not have the pinless joints on this one, unfortunately. Take a note of that. I brought up earlier, I love the wrist tape with the, or the hand wraps, I should say, with the blood on them. Nice attention to detail. He would if he's boxing somebody, fighting people. He might have some blood on there. That does work. He does got a uh, protector right over there, kind of an outside nut cup that the boxing trainers wear. So we do have that. That looks nice. He does got a little bit of looseness, a little frogginess in the legs. I'm not here for that. You guys know me. I don't like that at all. Uh, but he does have a little bit of looseness in the legs. Be interested if yours has that as well. Uh, he does got black boots on, a little red on the back, of course, as we're used to. Arms go all the way around. Got a little butterfly shoulder. We're here for that. Bicep cut, double jointed elbows, hands removable, back forth, side to side, head removable, and neck movable. So you got all kinds of movement out of that head if you need to. Of course, you got the ab crunch and waist articulation. Waist is kind of funky, but it does move around. You got the drop down hips, of course. Legs do go up. You also got the thigh cut, double jointed pinless knees. So we're playing half the hits here today. Uh, then you do got the boot cut, ankles back forth, up and down, side to side. The usual articulation there with Big Boa. And then uh, not a terrible figure, but just a little bit, I don't know. At the end of the day, I can't say it's bad because we have that second head and you can replace it and all is right in the world. So it is a good figure, and I guess it gives us a little bit more value because some people will want this head. So at the end of the day, it's not a bad deal at all. It's just... I kind of just didn't want to see his face and know what was under that mask. And maybe that's just a weird thing. But at the end of the day, I can hide it, put it away in a baggie, and forget it ever existed if I want to. And that's the beauty of toy lines. Make it what you want of your collection. But Big Boa looking pretty good here. And, of course, I mentioned the good old Sarge right here. Sarge is ready. They're ready to duke it out. Him and Big Boa going to throw down is what they're going to do in the cage of all things. Slaughter's used to the rings, not the cage. So it could be a pick -em. It could be... Who do you got? My money's on my man Slaughter, that's for sure. He knows what a nemesis enforcer is these days. No doubt about it. But there's Big Boa. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And of course, every single day, we got videos on both channels. We got two YouTube channels. Make sure you subscribe to both of those. And don't forget about the Patreon, your best way to keep track of all kinds of stuff on the channel. Early access, pictures, figure photography, pizza reviews, dog stuff, early access to videos, you name it, giveaways. It's all over there. And best of all, you do support the channel. Don't you want to support your old funny buddy Kyle out there? It's an expensive job. Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> but uh, support the channel over there at Patreon if you do wish. You can also support the channel at Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget about my book, The Complete Guide to the Jack's Classic Superstar Series, almost 700 pages by yours truly. If you want an autographed edition, for whatever reason, hit me up on social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for Big Boa, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.